and West Tennessee, we've been th doing things like this for a long time. I didn't come up with this. We've done all kinds of different tests, seeing if streaming is better than knife rig or wide dropping or easy dropping or whatever you got. And what we came up with, streaming works great for us. I believe, you know, easy drops, wide drops are great for late season applications. But for us, this time of year, 120 foot wide, we're running anywhere from 45 to 55 gallons to the acre. Sometimes on irrigated, we'll go all the way up to 80, depending on what we have down at planting. But as you can tell here, the ground's kind of heavy. It's sprinkled here today, probably about a tenth. It's constantly raining on us, and it's making it real hard for us to keep everything going. You know, for us, it's always hard to get the fertilizer out, and this year will be extremely tough. I've had several people call me locally asking, you know, how do the stream bars work? What do you need to do to make them work? And, you know, for us, we used to run 60-foot knife rigs. It's so wet here right now, for the most part, you'd have to be running four-wheel drive and just be making a mess. We run stream bars just like we're running on this spray right here. We add a gallon to a gallon and a half of humic, depending on the rates we're putting out. Most of our ground gets a gallon and a half of 12% humic. You really can't even see the fertilizer coming out of the sprayer because it's so black. We run a really good concentration of humic, and it really helps with any type of burn mitigation you might have. And you know, humic's great for everything going on in the soil and it, and it really works well with nitrogen in itself. So that's how we do it here on Varel Farms.